Hey, this is Matt Simpson, the Beer Sommelier at the Craft Brewers Conference here for BrewPot.com. We're going to interview some of the best craft brewers in the entire world. Come on, let's go. Got you. Um, Mark Reith, okay. R-I-E-T-H, okay. Uh, the uh, owner of Atwater Brewery out of Detroit, Michigan. And uh, we have a uh, German-style Casper Schultz brew house uh, located right across from the old Stroh Brewery headquarters in downtown Detroit. Oh, hey. So uh, brewery was commissioned in 97 and uh, originally started with uh, making traditional German lagers. And, uh, but our flagship now is our vanilla job at Porter. Uh, currently in the 12 states, mainly in the Midwest and, uh, and East Coast, including here in Massachusetts. So you are bottling? Yes, we are. Yep. Uh, how, and how long have you been around? Uh, the brewery uh, opened up in 97, uh, and I took it over in, uh, in 2005. Okay. Let me ask you, having been to the conference, I'm assuming, for the weekend so far, tell me, what do you think, what have you gleaned from it so far from, you know, all the, uh, all the, the big wigs that have been speaking up on the stage and all the, the people who know the industry? Is there anything that you've taken in that you'll be able to take with you on the road and maybe implement for your brewery? Well, for, from a, a small brewer standpoint, uh, this is an invaluable conference. Uh, you, you got a couple of different aspects. One is we get to go and walk around and, and meet different vendors, uh, and it gives us an opportunity in, in two days to, you know, really improve our operations and concentrate on things that we know that we need to concentrate on, and, and uh, grab all that information and come back, uh, assemble all that information, and, and maybe get three or four good new vendors on it. That's one. Uh, the other one is, is networking yeah. and, and talking to all the other brewery owners. Uh, uh, I've had five or six new distributor discussions while I've been here. Yeah. Uh, I've had a uh, beer advocate event we had in, uh, in Cambridge. So that was invaluable. So everything encompassed in here is, is, has been a great event so far. If there's one thing that you want to tell all the up-and-coming brewers who are just starting now, What's the piece of advice that you think would be most useful? Stick with your plan. Uh, uh, don't don't stray from it. The first couple of years are the most uh, difficult, uh, but you'll look back on those and, and, uh, and cherish those days. So, uh, you know, my first this is my third year in, and, and uh, stick with what you you know have an open mind, but stick with what your mission is, and uh, it'll it'll happen if you, if you stick with your mission. So. One last question. Anything big on the horizon? Something that we might see, you know, coming from you folks that might rise to the top 100 of uh, any of the, the big beer websites like brewpot.com? Yeah. Uh, you know, we're, uh, we're all about looking at, uh, we don't want to follow necessarily a trend, which is, you know, we want to have the biggest IPA or that type of scenario. But what we do do is do a lot of experimenting locally and uh, tasting groups. So we do, what we do do is do our single batches. You know, right now we have a bourbon barrel aged Baltic Porter. Uh, our, our latest and greatest is called Teufel, which is the devil in German. And it's a 10.9% uh, bison Doppelbach. Fabulous beer. So, like Duval, like Duval for Belgium there you, in Flemish. There you go. So yeah. that, that would be one. Uh, just remember Teufel. Remember okay. one thing. Okay. All right.